Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Elena. Today we'll be recapping on a very fun event that happened at school this past weekend. More on this after news and announcements. The Biden administration is expected to announce a diplomatic boycott of the 2022 win Winter Olympics in Beijing this week. According to a senior administration official, a diplomatic boycott would mean no U.S. government officials would be there, but U.S. athletes would still be allowed to compete. Calls for diplomatic or full, full boycott have grown since Chinese tennis star Peng Sh Shaoli disappeared from the public eye three weeks after making sexual assault allegations against a former senior official of the Chinese Communist Party. Previously, Chinese government officials have warned of the robust Chinese response should the U.S. or other countries launch boycotts. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs responded this morning saying that the boycott would be a serious stain on the spirit of the Olympic Charter. On Sunday, North Salina Street was closed after a two-hour standoff where a man was threatening to jump off a balcony and kill himself. More than 20 officers responded to the 1,100 block of North Salina Street. After numerous 911 calls shortly after, a man was throwing his belongings out of a window. After that, a shirtless man with gray sweatpants stood on the ledge of the balcony screaming obscenities and crying. Bystanders proceeded to tell the man that he has to be a father for his children. It must have worked because the man stepped down. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. ESM's Got Talent will take place on Friday, December 10th in the high school auditorium. The event is the Class of 2023 fundraiser. Pre-sale tickets will take place before school starting on Monday, December 6th through December 9th. Tickets will be sold at $5 pre-state and $8 at the door. Don't miss out on the opportunity to support the Class of 2023 and watch your classmates perform. How was your cotillion, Elena? Mine was great. You know, they played the best music, Todd DJ. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we all had fun. You busted some dance moves, <laughs> so did I. And it was good. So we're going to show you some clips from the dance. What's up, BSM? We're here at Cotillion right now, ready to party. Let's get it. We're here at Cotillion with Miss Desbro serving the drinks. Woo! Today, on Monday, we'll have a high of 56 and a low of 27 degrees. Today, we'll have mostly rain, which is the green blob you saw behind me, and we'll have a very unlikely chance for snow because of how unseasonably warm it is. Due to this, today will be a very good day for our mass breaks because it isn't too cold out, which is rare for December. Overnight, will turn to be very windy, just like it was last night, but this time around, it'll include some rain showers here and there. Tomorrow, on Tuesday, we'll have a high of 34 and a low of 24 degrees. Tuesday will mainly be brisk and much colder with the chance for some lake effect snow. Wednesday, we'll have a high of 35 and a low of 25 and will mainly feature rain showers with no, no snow. With that, I'm Grayson with your Monday morning weather. So I thought the cotillion was great and we were all bust in some great dance moves. <laughs> Speaking of dance moves, there are currently a lot of trending songs and, and dance moves. Yeah, and I just wanted to point out that some of these are throwbacks. So don't come at us. Some of these dance moves are pretty old. She thinks they're new. I so. think, yeah, mm -hmm. I think they're new. So some popular dance moves. Now, I don't know if you guys remember these are the Kobe Walk, the City Rock, where I guess you rock your body from side to side. How do you do that? <laughs> And you cross, maybe like that, cross your arms, and then we have, everyone knows this one. Ready? What's this one? The sneeze? No, the wall. What's that one? The wall? The, the wall. wall yeah. The wall. The wall. Wait, ready? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> and then we have the next one, which is the sneeze. This is another throwback, which is pretty hard to learn because of the alternating movement of your arms and legs. Two clips, and let's see what's trending in sports. Detroit, the Detroit Lions won their first game of the season off a walk-off touchdown pass from Jared Goff to Amonra St. Brown. Coach Dan Campbell dedicated the game ball to the Oxford High School and the victims of the shooting earlier in the week. Syracuse men's basketball team beat Florida State 63-60. Cole Swider led the team in points scored with 16. The women's basketball team beat Central Connecticut 116-65. Tisha Hyman had led the team with 27 points. The four teams in the college football playoff was announced as Alabama, Michigan, Georgia, and Cincinnati will play for a national championship. The boys basketball team lost to Bishop Grimes 49-46. Aiden Betts led the team with 17 points. The girls basketball team lost to Auburn 53-31. The girls volleyball team lost all three sets against Whitesboro on Friday. The wrestling team lost their tournament over the weekend. Max Wunderlich remains undefeated after winning all five matches by pin. Ian Schroeder won four out of the five matches by pin. And Peyton Spencer won all of his matches as well, two by pin, three by forfeit. In upcoming games, the girls volleyball team plays at Rome Free Academy tonight at 6.30. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Y'all learn about the amazing dance moves like the sneeze. We hope you enjoyed and we'll learn some of these throwbacks and some of these cool dance moves. For me, Alana, and us at the morning show, have a great day!